tips on finding art you love. Shopping online at fineartamerica.com. This is a video about the Fine Art America website where I have my art displayed. We're inside the site now and there are 50,000 more artists. Some of these are new works, some are digital art of this millennium and others are original oil paintings done previously. Anyone can visit the Fine Art America website and sign in logo and look through the images of all the artists. site has the capability of having them sorted by collections which then provide additional ways of sorting and finding them. Fine Art America offers canvas prints, frame prints, art prints, prints on wood, metal, acrylic, greeting cards, throw pillows, duvet covers for the beds, tote bags, shower curtains, and phone cases for iPhones and Galaxy phones. In addition, there's the detailed description. There's a link right here to a smaller preview. If, for example, you are interested in some um, product that is not showing up here, for example, you say, I want a coffee mug. Where's the coffee mugs? You can click on any of these products, such as the tote bag, which then gives you the breakdown, you know, over here of the size. Size is offered, 13, 16, or 18. You can adjust where the image is located on the object slightly. You can see a 3D rendering of it where it shows the other side how it looks. And down below at the bottom of each page once you've clicked into any of those products you will see a more extensive listing of additional products. So here you have greeting cards, the weekender tote bag, the coffee mug. So evidently there's just a limit to how many objects they can. And this shows you any of the art that I've offered there as a coffee mug. So you can see the t-shirts and find out that they have all of these varieties of t-shirts. Any of these uh, on my site can be posted or shared to Pinterest, Twit, Twitter. In addition to the individual images, you have collections. Collections are whichever way an artist sorts them by. For example, in my work, I have some Memphis-inspired groupings. I have a new millennial art collection. It's between since 2000 through 2019. I have them sorted by flowers, by music, by landscapes. Impressionism, abstract, Western travels. Posters, any of the works that have text on them. I include them in this poster, postcard, greeting card section. Art on art collection. Figurative. I have them broken out by price where I still have the originals. I have by color sometimes. 
location of the art, such as the Carolinas or Arkansas. I also have them sorted by Surreal Appalachian Collection, Beyond America for my more international imagery. Some of the products by Fine Art America include yoga mats, so I put a folder of those that I thought were especially appropriate for yoga mat. When you click on one of these collections, you see that only the images related to that sort are, are show up right there. So if you were interested in a, in a poster about Appalachia, if you'd been to the, visit the museum, you might click here and then see the breakout of the products on that. If you just want an individual framed print, it's you can select the type of framing. There's many different options here. All of this is up to the purchaser. We have the sizes, the sizes of the, of the frame, if you're looking for wider or more narrow, simple or complex. You can add a mat of the color of your choice. And select the type of paper if you want an archival quality, or if you're going for a poster, you might go with the luster. And then you can choose your uh, finish. So this is a sample from my website. There are many other features of this site for, that would be of interest in particular to artists. But I hope you will um, take some time to browse through here and consider the art on this channel that I've been on since 2011. There's a shop. There's an ability to post to events that are going on. I maintain a blog here where I list all of the new art as I upload it. And these entries are published like this. And you have a link to more information, a place to comment if you wish. And underneath, the, the, on the right-hand side, if you know how to follow RSS feeds, you click here. I guess there's a way to do this. I don't really know much about that. Okay, so. Artists have the ability to favor individual works that they might have produced or seen of other artists. They can follow other artists. You can join groups and upload your works to the group. Many times your blog is converted to a more third person article for the press releases and these are ones that I've taken the time to do about new work, but you, if you go and view the press release to check it, then you can view all of the press releases generated on Fine Art America each day. You know, they're, well, for example, right here, they have 35,000 280 press releases and you can just scroll through them when people are announcing awards they've received or they're having a special or they've got new work offered these um, press releases are published so it's a great place to send your newspaper friends uh, for updates on what's happening in the art world
at least of the artists from this site. They also have contest and an about page so that for each artist that has a page, they are able to give a little overview of their work and where they've studied. The website here um, is listed fineartamerica.com profiles Karen Francis. But if you're uh, visiting, you're not the artist, I'm going to log out for a moment and um, show you when you first come to this site, you will see something more like this, which has the categories of art. They've got things rec listing all the products and subjects. And they have a search box here where you can select the name of this, the artist. Well, the, over here, first on the left hand, you can say, if I know the artist's name, I can search by artist. And then you put the name in and it should go to their page. It may be a different display but by clicking on their name, you can get to their full listing of their works. Like here is some um, my art. In this case, they've sorted it out according to the way it was registered, but this is not all my work that's showing up here. It's anybody with this name. So in this case, you maybe go to one that you know is by me click on it and there you are back to a page like we were showing earlier. If you want even more detail you click on the name and you get back to the full listing of the art. In addition to the search on the keyword you can search and just to artist you can go keyword plus the artist's name if you know the name of the painting that you're trying to look up or you can go just by title and put that in there, the title of the work. You know, like if you're interested in that tea poster, or you can title plus the artist. The keyword is if you're just more interested in something like, okay, tea. We should find that and find the art that has to do with tea since that's the new work. Anyway, this is why Fine Art America has proven so successful. It has many sorts and ways to find your art. I've ordered works from there myself, and you can definitely, they will send you the product within a few days. They print it custom each time, and they include a 30-day money-back guarantee when you return the product. I hope that you will take some time to explore this website and visit, see if, um, my art while you're there. Thank you for your time.